What's going on everybody? Welcome to a new video and this one is going to be on a neat little concept that Skimbo is using in his first matchup against Stevie J from the Ultimate League where obviously Stevie is way ahead in this game right now 27-3. Skimbo was having a lot of trouble early on but then later on he started running this concept and was having a lot of success against Stevie's OLB Strike 2, you know, cover 2 style blitz at a 3-4 even. But this is a concept that will work against pretty much any style of Tampa 2, whether it's a blitz or just coverage based, and it's a concept that can be carried over to other formations, so it's not just a gun bunch exclusive. So, what he started doing, uh, this first example in particular, he called Dig HB out, which everybody probably knows about Dig HB out. You know, at this point in the year, uh, Skimbo is going max protect, you have the backside post by the solo receiver, and then what he was doing on the right side is he was going ahead, he was motioning out this receiver and putting him on a fade route down the sideline there. And then what he would do with his slot receiver is he would put him on a whip. And so all he was trying to do in this case is isolate that outside flat zone defender. In this case, it's Larry Wilson for Stevie J. That's all he's trying to do is put him in a no-win situation. And so what you're going to see, the reason the whip route is so effective here is it because it allows for that outside zone defender to get pulled downfield by the outside fade it basically like a normal corner strike setup it's almost so quick you know with the flat route corner route they get out there so quick the the zone can almost guard both of them because he doesn't get pulled anywhere he's he's like in the middle but in this case what you're going to see is that he ends up getting pulled downfield so snap the ball and you're going to see see how he gets pulled because of how slow the zig gets out there because of the inside deliberate you know move at the beginning of the snap and so Larry Wilson's already, you know, 10 yards downfield uh, by the time the zig is even starting to head out towards the flat back there. Now Stevie knows in this instance, uh, Skimbo did a good job of pairing this with dig HB out. The reason the backside post is important for this example is because the way Stevie was running his defense, he knows he can't sit down there and use her. He's got to fall back to that post route that's going to be cutting over the middle of the field. So he had to leave the zig alone. And so this puts Larry Wilson in a no-win situation. So in this case, Larry Wilson was in a cloud flat or a soft squat, it looks like. So Skimbo is going to be able to hit that zig. But hypothetically, you know, if Larry Wilson were to be in a hard flat and he was playing, you know, far down there, then that's whenever it would open up that nice outside pass lead, you know, out here in this area of the field for Skimbo to go ahead and throw away from that Tampa 2 safety that's behind uh, that A receiver icon. There's a safety right there playing a deep half on the right. Uh, you'd be able to throw that ball in towards the sideline. So it puts him, it's like a unique way of almost having like a corner strike concept where you put that outside flat zone defender in a high-low situation without actually having to call corner strike. So uh, it, it's pretty unique and not a lot of people do it. And he started having a lot of success with it on that drive right there. Easy 13-yard pickup. And, uh, you know, he was having success, drove down the field on this drive, ended up kicking a field goal, I believe. But that's one way that this concept definitely worked against Stevie J's Tampa 2 style zone blitz. Now, this is a few plays later on that same drive, and you're going to see how everything kind of meshes together now. So Skimbo had hit Stevie with that zig two or three times on this drive. So this play, Stevie says, OK, I've had enough. I'm going to go with a hard flat to shut that zig route down. But what you're going to see is why everything just works together. So Skimbo is actually going to go to corner strike here. So you're going to have the zig route on the outside. You see Stevie now goes with that hard flat on the right side of the field. So he knows, Skimbo knows, now I'm going to have the corner route behind him. So you see the hard flat playing underneath on the zig route. Now Stevie, once again, even though this isn't dig HB out, Stevie knows he needs to use it to the back side, left side of the field. Because, I mean, this is a problem with how good Gun Munch is mainly um, but he knows that he's going to get low point passed if you know he's not if his user isn't right here he knows skimbo is going to be able to throw a low pass to this c route right here as he breaks because this flat zone out here is going to be way too far to the outside and he's going to have a nice low pass window there so stevie that's good recognition by him knowing where he has to be but once again on the right side of the field he puts larry wilson in basically a no-win situation where you know skimbo has that corner strike concept as long as he reads it correctly it's going to pay off and the reason that stevie had to go with that hard flat is because of the fact that skimbo was running that kind of it's like a ohio concept where you have the fade and an out route uh, but now you go with a delayed zig route to fill in for that out route so on the right side of the field once again skimbo knows all he has to do pass lead that up chad johnson easy 21 yard gain right there and that's just how everything plays off of each other now this like i said isn't unique to gun bunch you can definitely use that first base concept it's two hot routable routes right so you have a fade and a zig you can pretty much get that with any type of 
formation where they have two receivers you can use motion to kind of get guys in the right positions that you want them to be in so it's a very versatile concept that can really universally be run against a lot of tampa 2 style defenses and then you can branch off of that based on whatever formation you might be running so it's not just gun bunch exclusive you can definitely bring it out in your own offense and add your own flavor to it so that's going to be it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed as always thank you so much for watching and until next time guys take it easy